Hey guys, it's me, Faye, here at Faye Dusk, and I um, uh, have a little flip through of a book that I bought at the supermarket the other day. I, w I went in there for some other things. I wasn't intending on buying this book, but I really felt that it spoke to me, and I had to get it, and it is a health and fitness book. If you've watched my... Uh, New Year's like uh, goals etc you would have seen um, you would have seen that one of my primary goals this year is weight loss and health and fitness and all that good stuff and so to help me or to sort of inspire me and kick me off and there's some really really good recipes in it is the uh, 28 day bikini body healthy eating and lifestyle guide by Kyla is that Steins I think it is and it's 200 plus recipe, week, recipes, weekly meal plans, 28 day workout poster and 7 day free ac um, uh, she's got an app, app access. I've heard of her before, I think I've found her, followed her on Instagram before, but I just saw this book and I was just like, oh my god, it looks amazing. But so basically, yeah, so if I read a bit of a synopsis on the back, is... Uh, yeah, Kyla has inspired millions of women around the world with her bikini body guide. Her approach to fitness and nutrition has helped women build strength and confidence by developing good habits and enjoying a healthy lifestyle. As a passionate advocate of healthy eating, uh, I can't even speak today, healthy eating, Kyla has developed this unique step-by-step -step guide which includes more than 200 recipes ranging from breakfast to dinners to simple snacks, 28-day meal plans to how easy it is to eat healthily every day knowledge you can use for life, learn how to select and prepare the right foods for a balanced diet and get practical advice on nutrition and so it, it it's a really thick heavy book and it's like really really nice nice quality so if I show you inside or att attempts to show you so you should be able to see that's like on different uh, tease us this flick. There's loads of information and there we go. It's time to get on to different uh, recipes and snack ideas and then she she has pictures of them and then she has in detail the uh, uh, recipe uh, what you need to do and it's just broken down into weeks and days and there's just so much stuff. Right, let's read you a couple of things. So basically she's got all about macronutrients, about eating a rainbow of colours, about superfood nuts and seed, uh, superfood grains. She even got a bit on food allergies and intolerances. Uh, she says as easy as A, B, C. Each recipe in this book is coded with one of the following co um, icons, A, B or C. This is if you come across a meal within the 28th day does not suit your taste preferences you can replace it with another recipe labeled with the same icon oh that's handy um so basically option a for breakfast it's two serving grains uh one serving fruit one serving dairy product and alternatives uh the snack for a is serving grains vegetables uh lean meat seafood f egg and meat alternatives uh, serving grain, vegetables, lean meat, seafood, egg, and meat alternatives. Blah blah. Yeah, that's really good. Um, it's about alcohol. It's about meal preparation, uh, vegetable preparation techniques. So like different like slicing, peeling, mincing, dicing, shredding. Uh, as kitchen essentials about herbs and spices or your condiment. Organizing your fridge for maximum freshness. Organizing your freezer. 28 day meal plan right let's go week week one day one uh and this is an a page by the looks of it uh start find a front um breakfast is canoa porridge with fresh figs i don't know if i'd like that but i'm open to try anything rice crackers with the beetroot dip is a snack for the morning lunch is a moroccan chicken pitta uh the pm snack is a berry swirl so it's yogurt with berries in it uh, lunch time and um, dinner, sorry, is a coconut chili prawn with uh, greens. And oh, it's a D day that looks quite good, not too bad. So, an option D day, this is week one, day four. And what's the breakfast? 
breakfast, 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 where are you? Oh, salmon and dill toast topper. I don't know if I'd like that, but it looks nice. And the AM snack is crisp breads with blueberries and ricotta. Looks nice. Lunch is a capri salad. So just like it's got bits of toast, beans, tomatoes, as in um, chickpea type things like rocket, things like that. Afternoon snack is crisp breads with tomato, feta and basil. And then dinner is grilled chicken with Asian slaw and noodles. That looks nice. But yeah, it's just loads of different recipes. Like literally, it's just so much, and there's desserts, dinners. There's... Well, that sounds really good. Sweet pe sweet potato and black bean enchiladas with guacamole. So look, there's a picture there, and there's the recipe there, and it just looks really good. But yeah, so I'm really, really excited to. Oh, I found a really good one. chickpea and beetroot burger, chargo beef. Oh, no, one like that. Um, there's loads of really good fish burger with kappa yogurt. That looks nice. There's loads of oh, there's, there's good dessert stuff. It's like low fat sort of stuff. Chocolate bark. And it looks like slabs of chocolate. And it's to chocolate bark are their favourite fruits. Nuts, seeds or dried yogurt. You can't go wrong. And try, it, takes about, it makes about 10. takes like 10 minutes. Or 2 to 3 hours. Or, or overnight setting time. So you need 50 grams of dark chocolate, roughly chopped. Tablespoon pumpkin seeds, two tablespoons dried raspberries, strawberries, or goji berries. Then you can top it with coconut flakes, roasted um, roast almonds. And basically, this is all you do is line a baking tray with baking paper. Uh, fill a large saucepan with water over medium heat and bring to a simmer. Then you place the chocolate and heat proof bowl on top and you melt it. And then you heat the chocolate until completely melted and smooth. Then you pour the melted chocolate over the lined baking tray. I use a spatula to ensure it's spread evenly. While the chocolate's still warm, you sprinkle over the toppings and you place the tray in the refrigerator and leave to set for two to three hours or overnight. Then you serve, you peel back the bark and break the chocolate into shards. Store in an airtight container and should last in the fridge for about two weeks. It's an epic fruit platter. There's everything on that. Ooh, raspberry cheesecake lollies. That sounds delicious. Sweet potato and kaya brownies. Frozen chocolate banana bites. They sound really good. Chocolate and raspberry chia pudding. Three ingredient chocolate nut butter cups. Chocolate and nut slice. Dessert pizza. That looks really good. It's like a brownie base. And then we're talking. Oh my god. It sounds so good. Uh, healthier tiramisu. I don't like tiramisu. but Chocolate and banana soft serve. I am um, nice cream, so I guess it's like ice cream. Coconut and lime cookies, blueberry and cashew mini tarts, fudgy brownies, uh, lemon pie bliss balls, uh, peanut and peanut butter protein cookies, healthy hot chocolate. And there's a about twenty eight day beginner workout guide. It's pretty much everything. Like it's just a really good book. I would if you're uh, looking to make a change into your life with your um your health your fitness uh weight loss anything i would definitely recommend reading this book i really look forward to it i feel like it's really going to be inspiring yes yeah, so i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you all very soon blessed be